Hey everybody, this is Nazgul2k1 coming back at you with a quick Nerd Rage video. And unfortunately today I have to join the legions of people who make a YouTube video just to vent about a topic. And it is gaming related, so strap in. I have to tell you guys a story. And this story... It makes me sad to tell it. So basically, one of my go-to online retailers is Miniature Market. Uh, if you've never heard of them, I'm not sure how you haven't, but uh, they were hands down the best company to go for for online purchases of pretty much any gaming product at all. I mean, they were fantastic. Uh, please note I said were. Uh, recently, I believe they were bought out by, uh, I want to say Asmodee, but one of the major companies bought out Miniature Market. Now, when they did, as soon as the announcement hit, oh, well, it's been here, their service quality plummeted. I'm sorry, I'm, I have 100% proof of this. Uh, there's absolutely no, uh, malice in what I'm saying. I'm merely putting this out there as fact. You may interpret it in any way, shape, or form you choose. I am merely sharing my side of the story. I am in no way assuming in any shape or form any actions of Miniature Market or whoever owns them now. But basically, here's what's been going down. Uh, lately, and literally we, it is my seventh order, uh, normally I go on, I used to go on Miniature Market, I place an order, and due to where I live, FedEx and UPS, they, they, I live out in the sticks, okay, so when I order via FedEx or UPS, I got about a 50-50 chance of actually getting said package, and because of that, I actually have to limit the places I can shop at due to some of these places only ship via UPS or FedEx. Now, the United States Postal Service, USPS, the mail lady that I have has been running this route for like 15 years, so she knows exactly who I am. As soon as I order something, she knows where it goes, she knows how to get to my home, that sort of thing. You know, it's your postal worker. They know where you live. The $12 an hour UPS guy doesn't care where you live. He just wants to get his truck emptied so he can go home. And it, it's, you can tell the difference, okay? Uh, some people have, and, and I know darn well somebody's already saying, oh, well, I never get my packages in the, in the USPS. And that's fine. Everybody has a different thing, which is why these companies offer different shipping options. So you can pick the one you want. And the one that works for your home and your place of business. And, you know, it's what you want. That's why the companies offer the shipping options. Well, about six months ago, maybe seven, it may be seven. I don't hold it on either. But six, seven months ago, I noticed that I was paying $10, $12, $15 for USPS priority mail shipping. One, to get my item fast and safe, and two, because that's the place that can find my home. And the orders were going out UPS Short Post, which is the absolute cheapest shipping option that you could possibly imagine. It takes one to two days longer than even UPS's most basic level of shipping. Okay, it is, it is the most ghetto form of shipping imaginable, and it's super cheap. So when the first time it happened, I said, oh, okay. So I contacted their support. I said, look, man, I, I paid $12 for USPS priority mail shipping. You guys sent it out UPS short post. I know those prices aren't the same. Uh, not to mention, I wanted my item by Friday, and now I'm not going to get it till next Thursday. You know, what, what's the deal? And I got an email back from customer service, and I got told, oh, yeah, sorry, Mr. Mullins, uh, that must have been, a, somebody must have scanned the wrong barcode or did something wrong. I don't know. We're really sorry. Here, let me refund your shipping fee. And they gave me my, uh, I believe it was $12. They gave me my $12 back. Plus, they gave me a $5 credit. Now, 
I didn't think nothing of it. Now, just to give you an FYI, because of, as you can see, that's half of one shelf of my wall of shame. Don't ask. Uh, I buy a lot from online retailers in my local hobby shop. Um, when I'm at home, I like to be, you know, painting miniatures or put some models together. It, it relaxes me. It's something I do to fill my time. Uh, and, you know, it keeps me focused. It's, it's really, it's a really nice hobby, but it back up, it backs up really quick. Anyway. Uh, so a couple weeks later, I'm like, oh, okay, well, uh, oh, I need that. So I went on miniature market. I placed my order. I picked USPS priority mail shipping. Same day, I get an email. Hey, your item's going out. UPS short post. And I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. So I email them and I look, uh, what the hell, guys? This is again? And they're like, oh, sorry, Mr. Mullins. You know, we're, we're, we're doing some things down here that's a little blah, 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 blah. So they, again, refunded me my, like, $10 in shipping, plus they gave me a $5 credit. Now, in case you don't notice, we're up to, like, oh, almost 40 bucks now repeat the same conversation four more times my next four straight orders plus those two now here's this is where it's going to get good hang in there we're now on order six and i ordered the infinity code one yujing collection it's a 300 dollar box set and there was a tournament coming up uh, in my area. It was a, a you know a beginners type thing. You know, hey, if you want to learn to play Infinity, you know, bring your army here. And I wanted to learn Infinity for a long time, so I was like, well, you know what? I need a model collection. Code One box pretty much has everything I could ever ask for in it. I'm gonna go with that. So I bought it. The catch twenty two was the tournament was Saturday and this was Monday. So I'm like, okay. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, or, or excuse me, it was Wednesday. Sorry. So I ordered it via uh, overnight shipping. I, I paid $38 or whatever it was to have that shit overnighted to me because I needed time to assemble it, prime it, and at least put some kind of paint on it. You know, you, you know. You don't want to go to bare models, you know, or at least I don't. I mean, hey, maybe you're fine with it, and there's nothing wrong with that. If that's how you want a hobby, you can hobby how you want, and that's what's awesome about our hobbies. But I, I overnight shipping. I was like, man, I need this fast, so let's do this. About four hours later, I get an email from Miniature Market. Hey, your item shipped. And I'm like, oh, all right, cool. I open up UPS Shore Post. I was like, you have got to be fucking kidding me at this point are you people serious so again i sent them an email and i said are you people kidding me right now six orders in a row i mean at this point i'm starting to seriously question whether or not this is being done on purpose to see how many people you can just slide that shit under the radar and pocket the difference because it's starting to look like that because Miniature Market doesn't come back to you and be like, oh, hey, by the way, we know you paid USPS priority mail shipping, uh, but we sent it out shirt post. Here's the difference, homie, my bad. They don't do that. If you don't go chase them down, they keep that money. And six orders in a row is not an accident. I'm sorry. Uh, I mean, and this is just my feelings on the matter, but if you got a guy that does something six times in a row, he's doing that shit on purpose. So I sat there and I was like, what you know i need this stuff now i don't need it a week and a half from now i need it now so what they ended up doing and, and this was all uh customer service rep rick i believe his name was who honest to god was just you, you could tell just by how he was typing he was just like is this guy wow holy crap he is serious what the heck are we doing so what he did was he canceled that order okay he canceled it out Removed the whole thing, replaced the order, reshipped it, UPS overnight, one day shipping. Then I guess 
from the way he made it sound, he went down and absolutely verified that it went into a UPS one day overhead shipping. Well, the problem was at this point, by the time we had hit this junction, it was already Friday afternoon. And they don't do the overnight thing on weekends. So I was waiting till Monday regardless. So what he did was he had sent it, he still sent it over as the one night shipping, but he completely refunded the shipping costs. And of course, gave me a $5 credit. So that's another $35. Okay, we're, we're, we're well over a hundred and some dollars in shipping costs that have been refunded to me at this point. Easily, easily well over a hundred and some dollars. If not, at least $120, $130. Now, at this point, I have now missed the newbie tournament, and because I don't have an army, you know, I didn't even have the models. I couldn't even begin to, you know, try and get something together. So a friend of mine helped me out, gave me a couple models, ran me through a couple of games on his own. You know, it just it took his own free time to teach me the game, which was really cool of him, by the way. Now. At this point, you would think the story would be over, and it's not. It's It gets worse, okay? It, honest to God, I didn't think it could even get worse than this, but it does get worse. So I come home, and I, I know it's, uh, I want to say Wednesday the following week. It's either Wednesday or Thursday of the following week. And I'm sitting there, and I'm looking around, and I'm going, why is my dog barking? And I look out the window, and the UPS truck's leaving my driveway. And I said to my wife, I was like, wait, did you order anything? Because I've got all my stuff. To... Wait, did I order something I don't remember? Oh, my God, has my plastic addiction gotten that bad? And my wife laughed at me and said, you know, you, probably you're ordering the shit in your sleep at this point. I was like, it could be. So my oldest son goes outside, and he comes back in, and he's got this big old box in it. I'm like, and it's addressed to me. I'm going, what the hell did I order that's that big? I mean, the only thing I've ordered that big recently was the, the Code 1 box, and I got that on Monday morning. And I looked at the label, and it's from Miniature Market. And I'm going, what? I opened this box up, because at this point I'm dying of curiosity. And my wife is too, because she's like, what did you order? You know, what's going on? And I, I swear to you, I am 42 years old, and I was like, oh my God, I have Alzheimer's. What did I do? It, <laughs> it, was, it was a terrible, scary moment for me. But uh, I was laughing at the same time, because it's like, man, I really got to get help, apparently. So I opened this up, and it's the $300 UG infinity code one box and i'm like and i looked over because the box itself because i was using it to use uh, as a painting guide but the box from my first set was still sitting right here next to my desk and i'm like so i looked at the label because i'm like what the heck is going on ups sure post they didn't cancel, they canceled the order, but someone in the shipping department sent it out anyway. That's a $300 box set. 300, actually it was like 320, I think it is, or something like that. It's over $300, plus the cost of shipping. They sent out two of them. I paid for one. So at this point, I'm now sitting on $320 of merchandise that if I was anything less than who I am, I could have kept. I could have kept, parted it out, sold them for like eight, ten bucks a model, made a fortune. But I'm an honest guy. I believe in karma. Believe that shit. So I call up Miniature Market. I actually called them. I was like, nah, fuck this email tag shit. So I called them. I was like, uh, look, this is about my order. And then I ran off the order number. And... I got Rick. And I was like, oh shit, hey Rick, what's going on? He's like, yeah, I got your email about the shipping. I mean, it was fixed. It shows here it's delivered. I said, no, no, Rick, you're 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 not hearing me, bro. You sent me two of them. 
I said, the one that you sent out UPS short post that you all canceled, they shipped it out anyway. I'm holding it here in my hand. And he's like, what? I was like, yeah, I'm holding it here in my hand. It's right here, bro. So I end up, he's, uh, uh, you know, we talk for a few minutes and he repeatedly apologizes for this because he's pulled up my account history and he can see refunded shipping, refunded shipping, refunded shipping, refunded shipping, refunded shipping, refunded shipping. All this time. And he's like, I am so sorry. So what he did was he sent me a shipping label in the mail. And we worked it out that basically I would go and take this thing to the UPS store, put the new shipping label on it, take it down to the UPS store, which is about a 40-minute drive from my house. Again, I live in the sticks, okay? Town is something I go to once a week, okay? I don't just wake up and I'm in town. I've got to drive to that motherfucker. So I get in to the UPS store. I get this stuff sent out. They get it back. They give me a $50 gift card for my honesty and swear to me that they will do better. Which brings me to today. So it has been about a month since I've ordered from Miniature Market. I figured I'd give them time to, you know, fix some things and implement some changes or whatever it is they had to do. You can't expect instant change overnight. It's just not going to happen. So I placed an order and it was a simple order. Uh, I, I actually used a $50 gift card and I bought the LAAT transport for Star Wars Legion. Uh, figured, okay, you know what? USPS priority mail shipping. Let's get that baby quick. I just got the email back that, hey, your item has been shipped. I'm like, cool, UPS Shore Post. You got to be kidding me. I mean, seven, we are now at seven orders in a row just for me that they have taken my money for an expensive shipping option, took that money, and shipped it out the cheapest way possible. At this point, I can no longer say it's an accident. They're doing this on purpose. This this is my opinion. They're doing it on purpose. Because I'll bet you any money, there are a lot of people that this is happening to. And for every one person like me that calls them and says, yo, give me my money back. There's another one that doesn't. And that's money in their pocket. That is straight money in their pocket. They don't give that money back. They keep it. Seven orders in a row. In a row. In less than six months. Now, if you add this all up. <clears throat> I did the math on it, by the way. Uh, I went through all the credits and whatnot. And the shipping costs that they had to refund. And the gift card and everything else. The total is over 500 U.S. dollars. Five hundred dollars in screw ups and shipping, because a three hundred and twenty dollar box set goes a long way. That's over five hundred. That's one guy. That's just me in the last six months. Five hundred dollars. Run the math in your head on how big of a company Miniature Market is. No, they are doing this to more than just me and factor up how much money that could be. It's got to be in the tens of thousands. It's got to be in the tens of thousands. At this point, you would think somebody would come along and go, you're fired. Whoever it is, is fired. Apparently not. But it's either, there, there's only two options here that make any sense. There's only two. There's, there's, there's no other explanation. Either A, they hired and refused to fire the most incompetent human being on earth to scan those labels and put those orders in for shipping. That, that's option A. Which is not a good option, by the way. Especially after seven straight orders on just one customer, totaling over $500. Or B, they're doing it on purpose and they're doing it on a wide scale. Now, I don't know which one is true. I am not making an insinuation of saying I have proof they're doing it to everyone. I am in no way, shape, or form 
accusing anyone of anything. I am pointing out that there are two possible options here, and it's one or the other, and neither one of them is good. They're not good. And Miniature Market is not the only one that I've caught doing this. This is not an isolated incident here. I've seen several other companies that I do business with, or I used to do business with on the regular, now all of a sudden just are taking people's money and shipping their shit out at the absolute cheapest rate possible and then claiming it's an accident. Litco Gaming, yeah, I'm calling you out too. You've done it five orders in a row. Now, Litco, Litco Gaming is doing the exact same thing. They offer you all these shipping options, but it doesn't matter what you pick. It's going out FedEx Parcel Post. It's going out cheap as FedEx. To give you an example, I actually have a reasonable knowledge of how the shipping industry works because I'm a truck driver. I work in logistics. FedEx, for example, I live in Indiana. I figure if you can figure out where I'm at from there, congratulations, you get a cookie. But I live in Indiana. Litco is based in Indiana. So at most, with a USPS priority mail, I'm looking at a one-day ship time. Because it, it doesn't take that long. But when you go to FedEx, FedEx goes, oh, this guy is going the cheapest shipping option possible, so we're going to throw it in the back of this truck, and this truck is going to Chicago, where our depot is. Then it will come back down to Louisville from Chicago. Then it will go from Louisville to the post office of destination and then the post office of destination to my house. There's a huge step there that FedEx does because it's the cheapest shipping option and it's going from the freaking near middle, middle-ish of Indiana all the way up into Illinois and then all the way back down across Indiana into Kentucky to Louisville. That's how their shit works when you take it the, shippest, or the cheapest way possible. Now, I've talked to a couple of other people online and uh, a couple of discords and whatnot, and I was like, you know, am I the only one that this is happening to? And I was amazed to find out that no, it's not. There are several other people that were like, yeah, they keep doing it to me too. I just thought it was like a computer error or something. But no, no, dude, no. All right, this is, this, is a, this is a problem. And like I said, it only boils down to two possible options after like the third time. When I'm on five and seven, you only got two options. You're either completely incompetent or you're doing it on purpose. Which is it? And I, like I said, I hate doing this. I, I don't want to make this video. I don't have a choice. Somebody needs to do something about this. E either it's... I actually put a complaint up on the Better Business Bureau and I actually sent off an email to the state's attorney general and I asked him, you know, is there a crime here? Because this seems really, really shady. Now I'm waiting to hear back from him and if anything comes of it, I mean, nine times out of ten, they probably just go, eh, and then throw it away. But if anything comes of it, I'll let you know. But at this point, there, there seems to be a real problem with Miniature Market Litco and a couple of other retailers that they're either grossly incompetent or they're ripping people off. Those are the only two options that I think can make sense. I mean, if it's one time, if it's one time they screw up your, your shipping, yeah. You know what? Crap happens. I'm cool with it. You know, if they, it would have stopped at one or two times, I wouldn't even be talking right now. But seven times in a row, in a row, in less than six months... Wow. I, I mean, please, if you've got an alternate explanation that isn't incompetence or thieves, please put it down below. Because I cannot think of a single thing. It, it's it's got to be one or the other. Anyway, I uh, just thought I'd give you all a heads up. Just beware. Uh, watch your shipping options. When you get that tracking number, make sure it matches what you paid for. Because there, apparently there's things that are going wrong that shouldn't be going wrong. But this is Nazgul2K1 signing off. You all have a great day. 
Have fun.